G'day and welcome to another episode. This week we continue our travels through the Flinders Ranges, testing out the big girl. We stay at some beautiful camps and do one of the most scenic drives we reckon in the Flinders Ranges. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to follow us as we attempt to cook. Definitely not cook properly. Four wheel drive and fish our way around Australia. <laughs> Woohoo! Well done. You're on a tree stump? Yeah, me spotter. You did the back did hit a tree stump, that oh. one. Del, you're doing your own thing. Well, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Well, me spotter wasn't there, I think. I don't know. Your spotter has no clue what's going on. I've written a diff yeah. out. Well, welcome to another episode, and this is the cheapest way to see the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cheap. <laughs> yes. Behind us, there along that ridge line, is the Great Wall of China here in the Flinders Ranges. This is part B of our Flinders Ranges experience. So welcome. <laughs> yeah, this is just off the highway. It's a bit of a four-wheel drive goat track to get here. We'll show you that when we go out. Didn't film on the way in, but it's beautiful. Magical. It is cool. The scenery is incredible. Uh, this is what the Flinders Range is, is all about. Unreal. Anyway, see what happens in this episode. They come with us. Yeah. But first, I've got to feed my kids. Yeah, lunchtime. Let's go. Blowing your cuppers, aren't you? Yeah. And the view. Yeah. Mm. Better than me cuppa. We just literally said how much diversity the Flinders has. Like, I don't know, the scenery's next level. The cameras don't do it justice, does it? Nah, they don't. Yeah. And like, you need to come here. Yeah. The Great Wall of China is sick. Yeah, like we're smack bang in the middle of school holidays and there's no one here. There's no one. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> Maybe the track up scares a few people off, especially with caravans, but we'll show you on the way back down. But I don't know. Yeah, it's really easy to get to. It's beautiful. Maybe we're at the wrong time. Yeah. I don't know. Flinders Ranges, I reckon, is a pretty good um, option in school holiday time because there doesn't seem to be many people at all. Yeah. Scenery like this, look. We've had a bit of lunch, just headed back down the little track now. Nothing too serious, is it? No. Oh, maybe there's been a few little tricky bits and some off camber bits, but gravel road. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get to. Yeah. Well worth it and well worth a little lunch stop too. Yeah, it was. Good for you for a lunch. Sneaky cuppa over the Great Wall of China, eh? Yeah. Guess we don't even have to do the real Wall of China. Nah. Anyway, we're, um, we're headed into the National Park now. Um, we'll see where we get to. We don't actually know where we're staying or not. No, we don't. We're just gonna wing it. We'll wing it. See how we go. Onwards to the National Park. <laughs> All right, so we've chosen a Brachna East campground. We're headed into the full drive section, cross, come down the riverbank, cross the river, and find camps. We don't have never been here before, so see how we go. Get big vanny down here without breaking anything. And we should be right. Just like that. And we're into the riverbed. Now we've got to find campsite. We didn't quite make that. Oh, big boy hasn't gone wide enough. <laughs> Bit of four wheel driving in the Flinders. We crossed a few little re creek beds. Um, and then this, I think, is to get to the right spot, but 
we have to choose a different line, I think. All right, we've selected four low, <laughs> so we can crawl up, take it a bit wider, so the caravan don't get hung up. Yes, we've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, just by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Now, I think this will show us where our sights are. Oh, Lenny's got the Super Sucker 2000. This is actually my favourite thing, like ever. I might oh. even like it more. Than me? Than a cup of tea. Oh, gee, God. Anyway, while Lenny Super Sucks, the van, I'll show you where we're camped. This is us. So that's the creek bed where you just ran up all the way down there, leading to the gorge, which is all through here. It's called Brachna or Brachna Gorge. And um, this is the off Brachna East off-road campsite number nine. And um, yeah, we sort of over... Hey? You gotta tell them how much. Oh, my little um, yellow over there, butter, she's butting in again. She's saying 34.50, uh, which is tonight's camping fees, which is a bit rich. It is a little bit rich. <laughs> but that's all right, whatever. It is what it is. Um, there's a toilet there um, just behind us. But yeah, not a bad view. A bit of a Forby track to get in. And tonight, we're just going to sit by the fire, look at the gorge as the sun sets, and um, have a bit of lamb. I've got to show you Finny too. Look at the little brokeback mountain star. We'll have a go at him. Finny! <laughs> undies on. Show us your get up. You got your cowboy boots, your undies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're nice colour in Lennox. Good work, mate. You got your cowboy boots on too. And then little Ollie. <laughs> or Tigger. What do you reckon, Ollie? <laughs> Vinny, you ever had a broke back mountain, mate? Yay! I reckon you're the coast star. <laughs> Shouldn't resort to alcohol, Alenya. So, you're going to paint me out like I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, guys. Well, our kettle cupboard says otherwise. <laughs> I love a cuppa and I love a drink of an Arvo. <laughs> oh, Yay! good one, man. <laughs> Another one? Yep. Oh. Run! <laughs> I have something to tell you. Yeah. There's yeah. a tiger in our camp. <laughs> yeah! Look at big boy chefing it up. Yeah, special night tonight. What's the special night? I don't know, we got a rack of whatever that is. <laughs> the fat off the rack just sizzling away there, just in case we want to really have a heart attack and have veggies. This sounds good. The meat, on the other hand, was definitely on sale. <laughs> we don't normally um, no, we don't. Blurge out and get something nice like that. No, nah, it's normally <laughs> mince or sausages. So hopefully <laughs> it tastes good. Hopefully they butcher it. Oh, we're ready, big fella. Yeah, we're ready. Bring her over here, doll. Put her on. Not so easy cooking, is it? <laughs> <laughs> See if we've nailed it, men. Ooh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them and then quickly put them on there. <laughs> It's hard being a good cook, isn't it? <laughs> I know that feeling far too well. Righto, big boy's finished. He served it up. Up, up. He served it up and um, the presentation's a bit average. Nick? <laughs> He's a bush feed. Into fire, smoky fire. Mmm. <laughs> They're bang on. They are good. They really are. They're not chewy whatsoever. I hate chewy meat. That's awesome, smoky. Good job, big fella. Thank you. 
We're doing that again when it's on special. Only when it's on special, like good special. <laughs> All right, such a beautiful camp, but we are moving on today and I cannot wait. This is something I've been really wanting to do. So Razorback, look out. Now this is the last hurdle to get out of this place. Just a little creek bed, no, another little the exit or the entry, whatever you want to call it, the creek. And it won't look much on camera, but it's in funny angles. The caravan, ooh, just seems to follow us wherever we go. The van doesn't even bloody move. <laughs> it's not making for fun recording, eh? Here we go, the Bunyaroo Scenic Drive. So we just had a bit of a scary moment with the caravan and car just after that creek crossing. All the brakes locked on and it's the caravan stability control, which is this little red Anderson plug. A lot of people don't know, probably if you're doing four-wheel driving or stuff like that, un undo it so the stability control on the caravan's not working because it'll pull you up in situations where you don't really want to. Like, we're not going fast here, so there's no um, risk of swaying and all that sort of thing. So take that out so that doesn't happen again. At least we know it's working. All right, now that that's disconnected, we can get going again. Pretty scenic drive though. A few little creek crossings or causeways, whatever you want to call them. Weaving its way through the um, Linders Ranges. We're going through Bunyaroo Gorge now, which is pretty cool. Beautiful, eh? I yeah. think this is a riverbed by the looks. There's a bit of water in here. But such a scenic, ooh, such a scenic drive. The caravan and the car's doing all right. You can definitely do it with a caravan this far. <laughs> That's the thing we just climbed, the transmission temp got to 98 really? degrees. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and the back wheels are going like up the hill. But, um, I don't know, the Flinders is pretty special though. It is. Yeah. My favourite so far. Coming up to Razorback Lookout now. Anyone wants to know, we are 413 metres above sea level. <laughs> that's what he means saying. Yeah, that's our navigational thing saying. I'm recording this trip to see how high we get. That is the road we just came <laughs> up. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Trying to get up. Oh. Get up, big mama! Big I'll give you a hand! Oh. <laughs> I want to see more! <laughs> so do I! Come I want on. to see more of that! That's funny as! Come on, Spidey! Come on, Spidey! <laughs> you just have to do this drive, eh? I think this is one of the best drives in the Flinders, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe we're weirdos, but that just gets us going. <laughs> Get you going? Get it going. Oh, yeah. You're dirty. You're a dirty no, woman. I wasn't thinking dirty. Oh, were you? No, I oh. was thinking more dancing. Oh, okay, maybe that was just me thinking dirty yeah. then. That's, that's incredible. Woohoo! Woohoo! Flinders! Yippee! <laughs> Unreal. Guys, I, this is my absolute favourite in Australia so far, what we've seen. It's just amazing. It was only a short drive to our next camp, Wilpena Pound. A resort in the middle of the National Park 
with all the normal amenities a caravan park would have, even a pool. We chilled out at this camp for a night before heading out in the morning. So we have had a very, 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 very slow morning. It is nearly 12 o'clock and we haven't even left this place yet. So we are moving on today to Rawnsley Station. Nick and I stayed here five years ago. So we're gonna go and see what it's like now. Um, I don't think we're gonna do the big walk that's there. The boys have been sick the last couple of days so we don't really wanna push it. And plus, um, we're not as fit as we used to be. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think we're gonna get to Ronsley and maybe, oh, I need to do me gourmet cooking. Yeah, that'll do, and it's on campfire today, so get ready for some charcoal action. <laughs> Just for that, it's not gonna be charcoal. We found a spot, but Nick's decided to go the hard way, as usual. <laughs> All we have to do is get here. <laughs> You're a funny man, Nicholas James. What was that? You're on a tree stump? Yeah, me spotter. Did the back this bit of tree stump, that oh. one. No, you're doing your own thing. Well, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Well, my spotter wasn't there, I think. I don't know. Your spotter has no clue what's going on. <laughs> Written a diff out. I don't know what's going on either. Yeah, we're just stuck in a hard place here now. <laughs> well, no backing out. We've got to keep going, I guess. That should be alright. We're over, we're over it now. I just have to keep going like that. And... How am I meant to be a spotter if I don't know what he's doing? Jesus. <laughs> you guys witnessed it. I had no idea what he was doing. I never do. He does his own thing, clearly. Well, <coughs> Parked up, check the diff, the diff's all good. And um, this is our campsite, look, caravan's there. Let's spin you around. Boom. That's uh, Rawnsley Bluff or Rawnsley Lookout. Um, sort of like the last bit of the um, National Park, if you'd call it. We're not in National Park here. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a sick campsite. We have fire tonight in front of that. I think the sun goes down behind the caravan, but I have to tell you something. Alanya has just um, told me something. I didn't know how I felt about it. Alanya, come and tell everyone what you just told me. I said I've got a sore weenus. She's got a sore weenus. <laughs> For everyone who doesn't know what a weenus is, what is it? It's this part. Like it's really dry. Like, yeah. And it's actually sore. Nothing worse than a dry weenus, style. I reckon I'm going to have to moisturise <laughs> that boy. Uh, are you doing your cooking show now? I should. Then he's going to grace... Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Grace is with a cooking show with a sore weenus. <laughs> That's gold, though. You're a weapon. Righto. Welcome to Alenia's Gourmet Cooking. This cooking episode is going to have two parts. Cheesy garlic bread. The second part is a surprise. All right, let's start making this bread. With um, lacky, lack, lack, lacky, crusty white yeast provided. <laughs> crusty white <laughs> bread. And there's a bit to this. Blend your bread mix and yeast into a large bowl. Probably a bad idea doing this outside because it's pretty windy. And then yeast, one teaspoon. Now this is lazy, I'm not using a teaspoon. I'm just guesstimating the yeast. One teaspoon. T-S-P is teaspoon. 
Add lukewarm water and mix to form dough. How confusing is this? Okay, now it says need. For at least 10 minutes. So Nick said he'd put Finny to sleep and he actually is falling asleep. Oh, he's awake, big fella. <laughs> I was never asleep, Elena. Yes, you were. May have dozed me. My arms like pins and needles is dead. <laughs> I'm laying on it like this. <laughs> You're supposed to put Finny to sleep, not yourself. Uh, I think I went before Finny, to be honest. <laughs> Cup of tea time, Dad. Look at the emus. This emus right oh, there. Oh, bullshit. That's awesome. So, I was going to say all four of my boys were asleep, but now he's awake. So, I'll have a couple with you. Look at our mates down there. They sell a lot of emu here to eat, too, so I'm not sure if they farm them or whatever, but. I've never tried emu. Go catch one. Cook him tonight. Mum, I'm. Finally sitting down. <laughs> and then let it rise again. It's got to double in size. Nowhere in this place is warm enough to make the bread rise. So putting it in the oven, we're warming it up and seeing if we can do something. She's ready to go on. Better get the man to work. <laughs> she does this so she can blame me if it's burnt. No, no, it's gonna go really well. Not too much on the bottom, please. And a little bit on top, please, big fella. What are you doing? I'm just turning. Stop oh. interfering. <laughs> All you have to do oh, you asked me is to... put it on the fire. Yeah, righto. More or less? Uh, just a tad more. Yeah, no. I am enjoying cooking on the fire again. I've missed it. Ooh, bloody fire beam. Hey, <laughs> that's a big bit. You're gonna burn it. Get it off. You're gonna burn it. Get it off. Oh! <laughs> She's a little bit burnt up the top. Might blame Nick for that one. Of course he would. Man. All right, so I've got my bread out. A little bit burnt at the bottom and I don't know what happened there, but it happened. But I'm, now I'm gonna make garlic bread. All right, that's cut, and my plan is to put butter and garlic in the middle. And then I'm gonna add a bit of cheese, make it cheesy garlic bread. And I'm gonna put it back on the fire so it can melt. All right, big fella, how'd it go? <laughs> Not bad. What does it taste like? Good? Chickens are a little dry, but the taste is there. <laughs> Give me G bread a go. Ooh, love fresh bread. My mm. bread's spot on, eh? Is it? Mm -hmm. What's the garlic butter and Although, cheese like? Mm, the cheese isn't melted. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What are you scoring me? Well, the cheese was melted be 10, but it's bringing you down hard. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a seven for the garlic bread and a five for the chicken. Oh my God, it's higher at the top of the chicken. It's not even bad. <laughs> <laughs> the deep bed first. Yeah, but I think the cheese, the uncooked cheese is making this doughy. Yeah, that was pretty stressful, guys. So my tip is just go to Coles or Woolies and <laughs> two fifty. Buy a um, garlic bread for a dollar. What? Is yeah. it two bucks? No, it's two bucks. Two bucks. Yeah. And um, chicken. I think you can buy some things like that at the butcher, <laughs> which are probably nicer. Stick with that. Are we gonna have an Elnick dance? Yep. 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 We might. <laughs> Ollie's just having a good old laugh at us. Do you wanna have a dance, little Lulu? Yeah. <laughs> you're laughing because you don't have to eat dinner, don't you? <gasps> That's why you're laughing. It's not bad. <laughs> anyway, like I said, Woolies or Coles. 
Anyway, we're gonna eat this and um, we'll see you at sunset. It's definitely not cooked properly. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Well, this is the end of our Flinders Ranges little adventure. Yeah. And we've moved on to Corn, Corn? Corn? Corn. Anyway, it's where the Perry, Richie Perry Railway, I think, is <laughs> for the old steam train. And uh, they do a silo art show at 6.30 every night. Yep, yeah, so that is what, that's why we've come back here. That's why we've come back here. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.